it's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with something a little bit different. I've got a crystal haul to show you guys. I went a little crazy. <laughs> so hello and welcome guys if you're new to my channel. My name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including unboxings but this one is Lisa went a little crazy on crystal shopping. So just to clarify, this is my personal collection. I do have crystals in my witchy store, Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. Um, that is linked below. It just says um, my witchy store. But anyways, so I participate in a lot of live sales <laughs> as in as a as a uh, customer with Bliss Crystals. I really love them. I will link them below in case you're interested. Excuse me, in case you're interested, sorry, I've been drinking my monster and it gives me the burps. <laughs> um, I will link them below in case you're interested. They have live sales like all the freaking time and I really need to stay away from them because I get a little crazy. I have... Okay, hold on Lisa, maybe you shouldn't care pick this up. I've got three large boxes. <laughs> I don't even remember exactly all the things that I bought. Um, I waited for all of them to get here so that I can open these for you guys. And so, let's do it! Look at my new pretties! But again, just clarification. These are my personal collection. These will not be sold in my store. These are going on Lisa's shelves. <laughs> or just all over my work desk and all over my altar <laughs> and all that good stuff. So, let me move that. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. There's a lot here, guys, so get ready. <laughs> Crystals, yeah! Well, and I'm also, like, super, like, down for the crystals because um, I started my crystal healing course through um, Hibiscus Moon. Um, I also, on my computer, it's still on my computer waiting for me, um, is crystal healing course from, uh, Ashley Levy with the Love and Light School. So, by the end of all this, I'm going to be an amazing crystal healer. I'm just saying. My, my plan is to actually offer, like, um, crystal healing sessions. Probably uh, distance ones. I will probably do it through my Etsy store. So, um, give me a little bit of time on that one because i got to get through all these courses. But it's going to happen. Okay, so I think this may be... <laughs> Okay, so I accidentally purchased two of the same thing. <laughs> so one of the girls at work was like, oh, I want one. So so there are three, th two things here that are the same. I'm going to have to pick out the one that I want. <laughs> so I got rain, two Rainforest Jasper um, points or generators, as they say. So I'll show you guys um, each one. So... There is this one. He's probably, I don't know, what is that, like two and a half inches tall? Can you guys see? He's so pretty. This one actually has like um, a bunch of like almost boo-boos on it. There, There's like chunks out of it. But, I mean, I guess that's how it came. It doesn't look like it's broke or anything. Um... But anyways, all right. But mine, uh, I'm going to keep this one, the one that doesn't look like there's boo-boos on it. Well, there's a couple. And I'm sure it's hard with some of these to, um, when you when you try to polish them into this point to keep things from, you know, some of those. Anyways, whatever. You guys get it. <laughs> all right. So one of those is mine. And then I have a tree agate. Um... I don't know what DT means. DT wand. So, uh, uh, I don't know that I would call this a wand necessarily, but it's double terminated. So, the double terminated means there's a point on each end. So, what did I say this was? Tree agate. So, I got a tree agate, what they call a wand. Very nice. Okay, let me put these back in there until I can take pictures of them. Okay. 
All right, Lisa, hurry up. There's a lot of crystals. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know where to put these so I don't get them messed up. Oh, I really went crazy, you guys. <laughs> All right, so next we have this bubble wrap. Well, and in my room, I have a large um, moon shelf. I had put so many of my crystals down in the living room that my moon shelf's looking pretty sad. So I think a lot of this is going to go in my bedroom, um, which is also my office for work. All right. Ooh! Then I have a green. Oh, they gave me a crystal information card. Okay, I'll look that up in a minute. Green Sardonyx Palm Stone, and it is AA+, double A+, as in it's a really good specimen. So this is Sardonyx Palm Stone. Oh, look how big he is. Oh, nice. And then apparently it came with a information card. If I'm not mistaken, um, how cute it little envelope. The owner of the store, um, she paints these. So the crystal right there is painted by the owner. Um, actually this is not sardonyx. Um, this is a different one of my things. So we'll look at that in just a moment, but yay that I got some information cards so that I could read to you guys. All right, let me move some things out the way. Oh, I need like somewhere to put everything. I got no room. There's like, no room in here. Okay. I'm gonna throw trash over there. This is like, also trash. Okay. Next. All right. Oh, I think this is okay. So I needed a quartz um, point. Oh, this is gonna be even bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, for my course, my crystal healers course, and so I ordered one. Oh, and I believe this is a phantom. Oh, it is. Yes. So this is a phantom quartz point. I don't know that it's going to translate well, but there is a point that had started, and it's like in the middle of the crystal. Can you kind of see that right there? It's a little. It's not going to translate super great. But on the inside, there was another point that was forming. Um, so that's called a phantom uh, quartz or a phantom crystal. Oh, he's so beautiful. Yeah. Okay, stop. <laughs> oh my God, I just love freaking crystals. Aiden, are you watching? One of my really great friends, Aiden is also a huge crystal lover like me. I'm gonna have to tell her to watch this. I went crazy, girl. I need to work some more overtime. <laughs> uh, like, I seriously, this was like all in like within a week span, because I think they have crystal sales like almost every single day. Like, they have a lot of crystal sales. I believe they have a, an actual store that you can go to as well. So, um, I don't know where they're located, but it, you know. All right, so then I have a Labradorite point. Ooh, yay! I wonder if they're, okay, let me see. Oh, can you guys see the, this is called Labradorescence, that flash that's in there. It has its own unique name. Um, I don't know if I get, oh. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see all the um, the flashes, but it does have flash. Oh, there's some right there. I love Labradorite, it's so fun. Okay, let me put that guy over there. Then we've got, oh, oh, it's a gift. Okay, then I have a Varus, Varus, this, this is not a gift, I purchased this, Varusite. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a triple A, like, great grade st 
stone. Um, can't remember how much this cost, but I don't think it was cheap. It was probably like 15 bucks or something. But look how beautiful this tumbled is. Now, and this at $15 is not even my, che my, my cheapest tumbled stone that I have. <laughs> I have a tumbled stone, I think, that cost me like $75. And you're going to see that. Uh, oh, I'm not going to show you that stone because it's somewhere way over there. But um, I bought the same, you know, crystal in a palm stone. And it's somewhere in one of these boxes. So if you could imagine that the um, the tumbled was like seventy five dollars. <laughs> All right, so they gave me a free gift, and it is a Girasol quartz sphere. <gasps> Look at that guy! Nice. Oh, fun. Mm, I love spheres. I need some more um, sphere stands. I actually sell some sphere stands in my store. <laughs> But, like, I hate to take things, you know, from my inventory because, you know, I'm trying to sell that stuff. All right. And you'd think because, like, I have wholesale accounts that I would just buy crystals um, wholesale for myself. But, <laughs> you know, not every crystal, you know, these are, crystals are unique. It's not like you can get that exact crystal anywhere. It's, crystals are all one of a kind, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways. But I am, as a crystal, um, as a crystal, um, seller, I am going to be going to some wholesale warehouses coming up soon when I go out to, um, North Carolina, I'm going to hit a wholesale shop so that I can, um, buy some things for my shop and hand pick things, which I think is like probably the best way to go as far as selling in your shop. Okay, so now <gasps> this is a rhodonite. Make sure I'm not crazy. Yes, rhodonite. It's an obelisk. Um, and an obelisk is when it's got four sides, like the point has four sides. So a generator would be um, six sides. And I'm going to have to remember what um, Hibiscus Moon said because she's really particular about what is really a generator. And I think a generator is maybe more when it's naturally formed and not when it's been, um, not when it's been uh, carved that way. But anyways, an obelisk shape is when it has four sides to the point. But like, look at this rhodonite. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so many great things to put around my house. It's a good thing that I'm not married. I mean, I have a boyfriend, but I told him, yeah, he's not the marrying type. He thinks it's gonna ruin the relationship. Oh yay, so they gave me a um, large sphere stand. Some of these come with sphere stands, um, and this this here is what it's going to go to. Let's see if there's anything else in this box. Okay, I think this box is finished. Um, anyways, he thinks it'll ruin the relationship, so he's not really interested in getting married. I guess whatever. But anyways, I told him that if he ever changed his mind and we did get married, he does not get to tell me what to do with my money. Because <laughs> I work hard for my money. So hard for it, honey. I don't know if that's actually the real words to that song, or if I just made that up. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a honking sphere that I purchased. Okay. Ready? I need more shelves. I need my boyfriend to hang more shelves for me. I also like, because me and him are talking about moving to the East Coast, because I need to live where it's warmer, um, I like don't even want to unpack some of my stuff. I still have things packed from when I moved into this apartment. Isn't that stupid? Like, I was so excited to move here, and then I'm like, I want to move again. <laughs> I don't know. This winter just really agitated me, and I'm just over it. <laughs> 
All right, you guys ready? You may or may not have ever heard of this crystal. I have, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, I have, what do I have of this? I have a crystal um, of this, but I can't remember what shape it's in. So this is called Garnierite. How freaking gorgeous. This is a honking motherfucking spear. So this is gonna go here. Oh my God, look, guys, isn't it beautiful? It's this gorgeous, like, sagey slash like neon green oh i love you <laughs> oh my god it's so pretty it's so pretty oh my gosh i can't i can't with these beautiful freaking okay so because i bought some large ones, I get the cards. So this is the Garnierite and it says Accumulation Stone. Origin, Canada and Madagascar. Colors, shades of green with gray veins, sometimes uh, chatoyant? I don't know. Chakras, it, it's the fifth, fifth chakra, it's a heart chakra, right? Root. Plexus. No, that's a heart chakra. Throat? Really? Okay, I don't know. Um, Leo, Virgo, and then it says and all. So it, all the all the shock or all the uh, zodiacs. Okay, so it says uses a stone of manifestation, serendipity, and creation of luck for prosperity, wishes, abundance, and dreams. Write down your intention and place it under the garnierite. As a heart stone, it promotes friendship and love for oneself and others, a.k.a. Green Moonstone. Uh, I guess that's another name for it. Yeah, I guess maybe I did hear that, that it was a Green Moonstone. Anyways, healing. Essential component is nickel, which fortifies and gives strength to overcome challenges and difficulty. Very nice. And then they gave me a card for Rhodonite. That is my card. And this is our Rhodonite. And it says uh, Emotional First Aid. Origins are Brazil, Mexico, and Russia. Colors are mottled pink and black, um, a.k.a. the first aid stone, the fourth chakra, um, your heart chakra, Taurus and Cancer, and it says, Rhodonite balances the emotions and opens and clears the heart chakra. It encourages love for humanity, altruism, friendship, and generosity. Can help alleviate self-sabotage and self-destructive behaviors, clearing up wounds and abuse from the past. Promotes forgiveness, known as an excellent first aid, elixir for shock, panic, trauma of physical or emotional causes, may be helpful for scars to stimulate fertility, oh, comma, may be helpful for scars, comma, to stimulate fertility, comma, for disorders of ears, lungs, joints, ulcers, and uh, MS inflammations, so musculoskeletal inflammations. Oh my God, I have so many awesome things so far. But that ain't it, y'all, because I went nuts. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this one is. So what, it, while I'm sitting here trying to open this, I would love to hear in the comments below what what is your favorite crystal? I have, like, way too many. Um, I would say Labradorite is one. Fluorite, rainbow fluorite, I love. Um... I do love amethyst. I know that's kind of a common one, but I love it. Um, all right, let me put my paperwork somewhere. Some of these peanuts. Um, what else? I have like so many favorites that I need to like think about that. Let me look at the ones that I've got on my <laughs> on my altar. I got my fluorite back there. That fluorite needs to move because I feel like I could display that way better somewhere else. Um, what else do I love? While I move all these peanuts everywhere. I, the, anyways, I have like lots of more favorites, but for some reason I'm having a brain fart. Maybe I'll see one that's in um, this box. All right, get this guy right here. Where's my X-Acto knife? 
And I do love that they, they usually send you a free gift. I don't know if it depends how much you spend or if they just send you a free gift all the time. I feel like I've always received a free gift. This is not a free gift though. This is something that I purchased. Does it say what it is? I guess it'll say in here. Okay, this is a couple different things. All right, so I got some small things. Oh, okay. We're going to show you the little ones, and then I'll show you the bigger one. And the bigger one is one that I was just kind of talking about. So this is uh, Chrysopress, Chrysoprase, however you say that. Um, this is kind of expensive as well. I can't remember how much I spent on it, but it's a beautiful green. And they said that um, this, this green is kind of hard to find. So um, I was super excited to get one so that is that then I have a star ruby tumbled which looks fabulously gorgeous um I think yeah okay so this is a star ruby hopefully you guys can see can you kind of see that there's like that flash in there so that is what makes it the star ruby. So it's a really dark color and then it's like almost bluish. It's really, it's hard to see on the uh, camera, but anyway, it's gorgeous. I'll just have to say. All right, remember that tumbled stone that I told you guys about that I had that cost me about $75? All right, I bought that same crystal in a palm stone. You probably have never heard of this unless you're crazy about crystals like me, this is a camerorite. So it's these beautiful purples and like, I don't even know how to, pale green, I don't even know how to, I'm so excited about this stone. I don't know how to describe that green, but it's gorgeous. This um, is a very expensive stone. Do you guys wanna know how much I spent on this? This was $150. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so camera right maybe I will link below um, all the crystals that I got that way in case you guys because some of these are spelled really weird so that way you can see the spelling so you can look it up um, for yourself um, but anyways this I believe is a relatively new um, find because I just started seeing it show up or maybe I just started seeing it show, I don't really know but anyways um, love that love it my my tumbled has more of the purple in it but anyways oh, so excited okay where's my exacto knife there you are all right what time is it shit i need to hurry up y'all <laughs> i gotta work tonight all right this one I do really love this crystal. It's I usually gravitate t more towards like purples, blues, and greens, but um, I love this, and I could not pass this up. It is a carnelian heart. Look how freaking gorgeous this one is. I mean, I, as soon as I saw them flash this across screen, I was like, buy it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. All right, I really enjoy this crystal too. I actually have some really great um, specimens of this in my shop. I'll tell you what it is as soon as I open it up. <laughs> I also have, um, I think I have a sphere of this of my own somewhere. And then I have a couple spheres in my shop. So this is a polychrome jasper. Isn't that the coolest? It has such gorgeous coloring. So this is, uh, I don't know if they call this a pebble or a palm, but it's huge. So polychrome jasper, and if you guys like this, I have two large spheres in my shop. They're beautiful, like I want to keep them. They're so gorgeous. All right, so we will go ahead and get this. This is a gift. How exciting! I need to be careful because it tells me what crystal it is, and this one is um, 
It's a, um, forget what the Mohs, I think it's a two on the Mohs hardness scale. Anyways, it's fragile. Also, pop quiz, I did a video on this crystal. Ooh, they gave me a big selenite wand. Lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. Ooh, you can never have too much selenite. I also have a lot of selenite in my shop. I've got um, some uh, tumbleds, I guess you would call it, but it's it's almost like this. It's it's kind of cylindrical, and the ends are like um, like rounded, but they're like this big, right? So I have some tumbled like that in my shop, and um, God, I don't want to break any of these. And then I also have um, a charging plate that's got the chakras, and the chakras are in color on the um, plate. And it's a big plate. It's long. I can't remember if it's like 10 inches long or 12. It says it in my listing. But um, anyways, I do have um, some selenite bowls that I just got a shipment in. I need to take some photos of those. They're very nice. I was super excited when I opened the box. I have a whole box of crystals waiting um, to put in my shop. All right, so I've got two crystals in this little sachet. Oh, that's smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but it's gonna be pretty. All right, so we have a sodalite palm stone. To me, this is a little, a little small for a palm stone, but oh my God, the sodalite, how gorgeous. Um, again, it's, it's one of my colors that I love. I love blue stones. Put that over there. And then I'm moving a little fast because I've, I've got to go to work in a minute. All right. So then I got a purple fluorite generator. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Freaking amazing. Oh, and it does have a little bit of bands down here. Can you guys see that? There is a little bit of green, like right up in here. It's hard to tell on camera, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Okay. Just have two more in here. Don't want to ever lose a crystal. Oh my God, I have so much trash. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I believe, so I've got two more in here, and then this one contains some large crystals, and it may be just two. I can't remember if I bought more that day or not. Man, can you guys go to my store right now and buy a bunch of stuff? The reason I'm asking <laughs> is because I want to buy more crystals <laughs> for myself. Okay. But I do have some lovely crystals in my shop. And I will have more. All right. So I wanted to buy, I'm, I'm in the process of buying some palm stones because um, I wanted to have some for my, um, for my crystal healing. These, these don't go with that, but oh, this is so pretty. Fire agate thumb stone. So um, I, look how pretty that is. Fire agate. So a thumb stone, it has this little divot. Can you see that right there? So you can uh, rub your thumb. It's kind of, it's called a worry stone as well. Um, I would say it's a fidget spinner for crystal lovers. <laughs> so it just kind of keeps you doing things and you can meditate and whatever. So anyways, that is the fire agate thumb stone. Then I have... Another little palm stone. I need to run out to, there's a Richie store close to me that I love. So we have Unikite, little palm stone. And it is, yeah, like the same size as my Sodalite. So this is what they're calling a palm. I wish it was a little bigger, um, but still it's very nice quality. So I'm like totally fine and happy with that. All right, one more from this box and then we're moving to the last box. I just can't. Like, everything is so pretty. <laughs> the other day, I was, I tuned in.
my recording stopped. Damn it. Okay, so I don't know what I just said to you guys. Um, you may have missed something that I said. It probably wasn't that important. Um, but anyways, moving along to the last crystal in that box is a Fire Islet, Iolite, Iolite. I'm saying this all wrong. Fire Iolite, Iolite. Um, and this is a grade A palm stone. Look how beautiful. It is a gorgeous, like, indigo. So definitely third eye and crown chakra stones. Oh my God. And it's, it's a pretty big, it's kind of flat. Do you guys see that? Um, but it's large. Oh, it's beautiful. I have some, I like, um, I think I have a little sphere and I've also got a sunset soda sun. No, that's soda light. Maybe I have fire iolite in something else. Anyways, I don't know. I've got some iolite somewhere. But, so that is it for this box. So we are moving to my last box of crystals. Again, for my personal collection. These are not for sale. I'm sorry about that. But I do have some beautiful things for sale in my shop in case you guys are interested. All right. They did, they shipped this pretty quickly too, which was lovely. And also, I ship very quickly, <laughs> in case you guys are interested. I'm going to keep plugging that. Mama, Mama needs money to buy more shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound like a dick. Like, hopefully that's not coming out being a jerk face or anything. I don't, I don't mean it like that. Buy my shit! <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, I guess I, I purchased more <laughs> than the, I know two things in here um, that I purchased and apparently there's more than just those two things. So we're gonna save those big ones for last. All right, what's in here? Oh, this is probably some stands because this is very light. This is not a crystal. Because um, I think with some of these, they came with a free stand. Hopefully I don't break it. Wow, they sure did wrap this good. So good that I can't get it out. <laughs> okay, so how did, which way does it go? Like that. I don't know. We're going to figure this out. But I have a stand that I got. I believe it just came with it for Frizzle because, um, because I bought some big pieces. I don't know if you care that I'm sitting here. Well, I'll just set this aside. It's another stand. So maybe I didn't really get more crystals. I just got stands. This, I wonder if it's a free gift. Bet it is because I kind of think that I just have those two big items. Yes, it's a free gift. Yay! All right, I have a rose quartz. Ooh, I've got a rose quartz heart. How cute! So they always give free gifts and I mean, obviously they give really great free gifts. It's so exciting. Okay. I believe, let me just take out these, <laughs> let me just take out these big ones and make sure that I didn't have anything else in there. Pretty sure that's all that I've got. I'm gonna have to go back through my invoices and make sure I didn't miss anything in the peanuts. <laughs> that would be bad. Nobody wants to throw away a crystal, right? Okay, let me think. We're gonna open the smaller of the two first. These are actually the same um, type of crystal. They were doing a, I think that they were doing a whole show on this crystal. Um, 
This is not my typical color of a crystal, but I do really love this, um, this crystal. I'm so excited to see what this guy looks like in person. If you guys can hear me speaking over all my paper. What time is it? Okay. So got time before work. I will do a video, maybe tomorrow I'll do a video of the new crystal that I've got in my shop. You guys can see. So this is known as a fire and ice citrine. Look at this guy. So the ice is like the white that's coming up here and then of course the fire. So this is a little heat treated. If it was a paler yellow, it would be more natural. So it is heat treated, but basically it just speeds up what the earth would do when it's in there. So like if it's in the earth and it's and it's hot or whatever, um, the heat would make it a deeper color. She So they did say, and I don't know if that has anything to do with the fire name for it, but anyway, so this is, is a, in Matrix, but it is a big, large, gorgeous, Citrine, oh, it's so pretty. All right, so again, this is another citrine because I do believe that it was just a, like a show on citrine. So it's another one of those fire and ice. Figure out where I wanna put all these beauties. I need it like another shelving unit. <laughs> I do appreciate how wonderfully they wrap these. All right. Oh no, some of it broke, but it's not too bad. Okay, I don't even know where it broke off from. There is my other piece. Look at these, look at how big they are. Ah! Okay, so you can really see the ice, like ice, it's not actually ice, but you know what I mean. The white of the crystal there. Oh, it's so pretty. So this, like I said, it's heat treated, but it's still natural. It's still natural citrine that they just sped up the, the process to get the deeper color. Um, normally like in nature, it would be a little bit uh, lighter than this, but anyways, gorgeous, gorgeous, large chunks of citrine. There's like a few chips of citrine like in my paper down here, but I don't even know where it fell off at, maybe here on the side, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't even look like anything really chipped off. So that is my crystal haul, guys, from Bliss Crystals. Again, I will link uh, their website and maybe their Facebook group. They do have an app, um, I believe, there, there's some incentive to actually attend the live sales from the app, but I'm not really sure. Maybe there's not an incentive. I don't know. But they do have a, a um, an app. Maybe I could find that. I don't know if I can link an app. Um, but anyways, if you, if you get on their website or their Facebook group, you'll be able to um, navigate to their app. And you can attend the, the live sales through the app or Facebook, I believe, are the two spots that you can do that. So... What do you guys think of my new babies for my personal collection? I would love to know what you guys think. Um, I'm super excited about my camera right. I can actually take this out of here. I know what it is. <laughs> like I don't need to label this. But um, this is one of my favorites just because it's such a unique stone. Oh, I don't know what else. Everything is so beautiful. Like the purple fluorite, uh, gorgeous. The garnierite sphere is amazeballs. I don't know, guys. I'm excited. I would love to hear your favorite in the comments below or what is your favorite crystal like in general? What do you gravitate towards? Again, I said I like blues and greens and um, purples are usually what I go for. So I would love to hear it. And if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment below it really helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button in the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you're already a subscriber, thank you guys. I appreciate y'all. You are amazing. And when I reach a thousand subscribers, we're doing another giveaway. Um, I don't know that you're going to get anything out of this. <laughs> I'm, I might give you something 
um, from this lot. We will see, but I will I will definitely take care of you, whoever wins my next giveaway. I always take care of you. I always give you really great things. So that is it. That is all. If you guys uh, want to check out one of my other videos, I'll post something right here so you can continue on watching me if you choose to. <laughs> Otherwise, have a great day. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.